let's take a tour of Avid Metafuse, a standalone application available as a free download from avid.com and also supplied free with any purchase of Media Composer or Symphony version 3 and later. Avid Metafuse allows file-based formats such as DPX and TIFF to be transcoded to Avid MXF media files with the original source metadata or by adding metadata during the transcode. This offers a unique solution bridging the file-based world of animation and DI directly into the Avid editorial environment, thus preserving all metadata for either an HD or a 2K, 4K file-based conform. Avid Metafuse can streamline file-based workflows through inclusion at different stages in the pipeline. For example, after the scanning stage to create Avid DNX HD proxies, or add a visual effects facility to quickly send high-quality, low bandwidth temps back to editorial with all standard and custom metadata either embedded or on screen or both. Metafuse is supported under Windows XP, 32-bit and 64-bit as well as on Linux under a compatibility layer for running Windows programs known as Wine, W-I-N-E. Avid Metafuse can be used on a single machine or across several machines in a batch process. This accelerates the job by sending each transcode to an additional CPU. Although Metafuse can handle many file types, this video tutorial will focus on DPX scan workflow. In this scenario, the transcoded files are sent back to editorial either as dailies or as a conform check to ensure that the final scan to DPX is accurate based on the rehang of the negative. In this example, Metafuse is being run on a single local system. After launching the application, you can choose the drive or directory that contains the source DPX files to be converted to Avid MXF. You'll want to select the directory that contains the files, not the files themselves. Subfolders will be included as part of the scan process. As you can see here in the scan preferences, different shots can automatically be created based on breaks in timecode, keycode or file name. The order in which they are placed will determine priority. The system will now scan the selected directories and present the resulting groups in the main window. The main window shows two images the before on the left and on the right a preview of how the new file will appear when transcoded. Below this we find the grouping pane showing the sources that will be transcoded and another pane showing the details of the transcodes. At the very bottom of the main UI is a shortcut to commonly used functions. Once the scanning process is complete, you will see the source files in the main directory pane where the transcode jobs are managed. They are stored as groups, for example a series of sequential graphics. By clicking on the plus sign, you can drill down into the group to see the list of individual files. Notice the metadata that was extracted from each of these files, timecode, keycode and other metadata from the DPX header. The columns are used for display as well as to set preferences on a per clip basis. Corrections or additions can be manipulated here or in the details view to the right. Clicking on any one of the groups will make it active in the viewer. The slider will allow you to navigate through the group and view the corresponding frame of material. The split window shows the before and after with respect to the Metafuse transcode parameters such as overlay, aspect ratio and lookup tables. So there you go, that's how to get your sequential media into Avid Metafuse and begin either creating or customizing the appropriate metadata for your workflow. The next video in this series will show you how to use Metafuse to start creating Avid Ready Media for editorial.